Jay Geisenberg joined by Maryland hitting coach Rob Vaughn. We're previewing the 2016 season for the Terps. We're going to take a look at, at their hitting. First off, you lose a ton of key guys in Lamont Wade, Brandon Lau, Jose Quas, Kevin Martier, really the meat of that 2015 lineup. How do you replace guys like that this season? I think it's tough. You know, you lose Lamont Wade, who I think you could argue is the best player in the country the last three weeks of the season once he come back from his injury. So losing a guy like that's tough. Kevin Martier, I mean, was an All-American last year, uh, was our emotional leader, had caught for three years. Um, Jose Quas, leader in home runs, leader in RBIs. Like Brandon Lau, who's one of the best hitters I've ever coached. You know, you're losing a lot right there. But um, we've had some guys make some strides over the winter, over the summer. Um, I like where we're at. I like kind of the work our guys have put in, and, and I think we're going to be okay. When it comes to the top of that lineup, you have a transfer in Madison Nickens. What have you seen from him in the fall that kind of sets the stage for him this season? I think the first thing is he's from a winning program. He came from LSU Eunice down there, who was a national champion last year in junior college. Um, there's something to be said for that, guys that know how to win. He's a blue-collar kid, a tough kid, um, and that, that goes beyond the physical tools. You know, he's a plus-plus runner. Um, he's got some juice at the plate, he's a physical, good-looking kid. Um, he's got a chance to really kind of be an impact dude for us right away. So let's take a look at some of the other new phases on the team, not just transfers, some freshmen that you think might be able to make an immediate impact in the lineup offensively. I think, I think the first one that jumps out to you is Nick Dunn. Um, you know, he was a guy that we recruited last year, and we kind of recruited him as Brandon Lau Jr., you know, and that's kind of a tough thing to – to come in and try to fill shoes like that. And, and it, it's tough to expect a freshman to, or probably not even fair to expect a guy to. Um, but he's just been tremendous. He's an, he's an even keel guy. I ask him every day how he's doing, and I get the not bad answer every single day. He's just a steady dude, um, had a great fall for us, has really come a long way defensively as well um, at second base, which, which has been huge for us. Um, but he's a guy that I think you'll see probably pretty regularly in the lineup. You know, you have some young guys, and A.J. Lee, who's had a great fall, great preseason for us. Peyton Sorrells, who's been just tremendous at the plate, and it's kind of our jack-of-all-trades all over the field. Um, Marty Costas, who hit just an absolute rocket home run today that's got just freakish tools and will continue to get better as he plays. And, you know, we just I, – I like our freshman class. You know, there's a lot of talented guys that I think can come in and help right away. And what about some of the returning guys? Fifth-year senior Anthony Papio, Andrew Bechtold coming off an injury, Kevin Beyond returning at first base. What do you expect to see out of them? I think just start with Pap. You know, him and Rob Galligan are two, uh, two fifth-year seniors. And Pap will go down as one of my favorite guys I've ever coached. You know, he's a blue-collar kid. He gets after it. Um, there's never excuses with him. And, you know, made some adjustments this year, and, and I hope that he goes out and has a year he, he deserves because he's gotten after it all, all year working. Um, you know, you have a steady guy with Kevin Smith at shortstop, returning All-American. Um, it's kind of the same thing, steady Eddie through there. Um, the guy that's going to be really good for us, I think, is Andrew Bechtold coming back. He's healthy. Um, he looks good. He's, he's had a really good offseason for us. And then, like you said, Kevin Bionic at first just keeps getting better. I mean, he's been tremendous on defense. He was down the stretch last year. You couldn't take him out of the lineup, you know, and he's kind of done a really good job over at first base for us and has really improved offensively as well. Uh, one of the things I noticed the past couple of weeks, a few different lineups that have been thrown out there in intra-squad games. Some of them had Madison Nickens in left field. Others had him in center, transitioning off between Zach Jankarski and Jamal Wade. What can we expect to see come opening night in Tuscaloosa? You know, I think that just depends. That's something we're going to have to sit down and talk about. Um, the thing that I think we're very, very fortunate is we don't have nine guys that are going to play 56 games this year. You know, we have 15, 16, 17 guys that I could roll into there. You know, I think... Jankarski has been tremendous. Our guys love him. He's a tough dude, and I've never seen somebody maybe play harder than that kid does. So at the end of the day, it's, it's real hard to take a guy like that out of the lineup. You look at a guy like Jamal Wade, who was obviously had some juice in his bat, could swing it a little bit. He has really gone on a mission defensively, getting better on, on defense on that side of the ball, and has been tremendous. He's done an awesome job right there, and like you saw today, hit some balls hard. He's, he, he's been pretty good for us. So I think I think there's a mix of 12 or 13 guys you could see in the lineup very, very regularly, and you know, including a guy like A.J. Lee. I think you're going to see that guy in the lineup. I think it's going to be hard for Peyton Sorrells not to get in the lineup every once in a while. I think it's going to be hard for Marty Costas and Nick Brown and guys like that not to get at bat. So it's a good, good problem to have that we're sitting here with some options. Maryland hitting coach Rob Vaughn. Season gets started this Friday night in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You can catch all the broadcasts at MarylandBaseballNetwork.com and follow us on Twitter for live updates at MDBaseballNet.